Yo guys, what's up? It's me, Stiflard here. Uh, welcome to Cafe Stiflard, and I'm super pumped. I'm actually, I'm back in action, got the computer running, we're in game, we're doing some recording, and today we are on Solidarity Gaming's private uh, sponsor server, uh, which I've recorded a few videos on already and, you know, had a good time with that. So we're going to keep that series rolling for now, uh, and I've got some things to show you guys. I have been... You know, working on, you know, this server a little bit, trying to get some things updated. What up, Jimmy? Yeah, that's not actually him. It's just an NPC. But, uh, yeah, I wish... I w he does get on here once in a while. I wish he was on right now. But uh, in the last episode, you guys might remember, we found out that he actually has this house here and is my next door neighbor. And there is my house, or what will soon be a house. It's just... It's just the framework right now. I haven't done too much else with that. I wanted to save that for you guys. Oh, I just moved my mouse. <laughs> That's weird. I wanted to save that for you guys. Uh, and we're actually going to get to that in the next episode. But today I want to show you guys something else. So we've got the framework on the house done. But, you know, I've been thinking about it. I'm like, you know, I need, you know, besides the... Um, besides the house and, you know, getting this thing done, I need some more supplies. And I wanted to go ahead and try to get uh, some, uh, you know, a nice mine going and also, uh, you know, work on farming, maybe like a, a skeleton farm uh, and uh, another farm, which I'm going to show you right now. I'm going to go to the home and here we go. Stiflard Slime Farm. Dang, it gave it away. You already know exactly what it is. So... The, between the last episode and this one, I did get a little bit of time and I came on to Solidarity's server here uh, and I found a slime chunk and I've already cleared it out actually. And uh, yeah, I'm excited. I, I don't think that there is another slime farm on this server that like another player has uh, turned like got running. So I am hoping that I can use this slime farm and give a little contribution back to the server because I need materials and I do not have the means to get all the materials that I need for my house. I could just build like a little starter house or something a little bit simpler than what I what I normally like what I have been going for but uh, I would prefer if I can get this slime farm up and running contribute something back to the server um, then I can hopefully do some trades for some nice goodies like wool and maybe some quartz and things of that sort. So anyway, this is my slime chunk or, you know, several chunks here. And one of these, uh, one of these little corners here, if we turn F3 plus G, you can see the chunks in the, uh, in the world. So one of these chunks here is actually a slime chunk. I think that it's this one, but I'm not entirely certain. So if you aren't if you aren't aware, slime chunks um, slimes can only spawn in swamp biomes or in slime chunks under I think level 45. Why level 45? So you know that's why we are way underground here in my mine. And they, you want to have plenty of space, you know, so you want to have your, your three blocks, at least three blocks. And I have five here so that your large slimes can spawn in and you need to have, you know, the full chunk, uh, cleared out so that you can, you know, have, you know, an efficient slime farm. You also need to be 32 blocks away from a slime chunk so that uh, the slimes will spawn, which is why I have like this little barrier right here so that I can just kind of go AFK and chill back here and wait for some slimes to spawn uh, at the right distance. And uh, the last thing that you need to do is you need to clear out all of the caves and light them up because if you don't light them up, then your slimes will not spawn because your your region uh, is has hit the mob spawn cap so i found this i found this slime chunk which is one of these I, I really do think that it's this one but it could also be this one right over here i'll show that again yeah so it could be this chunk but i do think that it's this one 
And uh, so I found this one slime spawned in and I was like freaking out a little bit. I was super pumped. And uh, what I have uh, been doing since I found this, besides clearing this out, is I've also been lighting up all of the caves nearby. And so that is what I was doing back over here. You can see kind of running around here. Uh, yeah. I have spent so much time just dropping torches everywhere because you need to really clear out all of the caves otherwise those slimes are not going to spawn and you can see here like I dropped in I ran out of torches at one point but I had a bunch of glass and I had a bucket and so I was just dropping in lava and using that for light as well pro tip right if you're good at minecraft you know how to use lava for lighting or something i don't know uh <laughs> anyway so uh yeah i was i was running around clearing out all of the caves and i came across this this is a skelly spawner oh yeah i have some big plans for this as well so skeletons obviously i can get xp out of this uh, I can use it when I get mending on my tools and armor. I can, uh, you know, I can use the XP to repair all of my items. And also those bones and arrows and bows that are going to drop, that is going to be pretty slick. So I haven't done anything with this yet. I did protect it. So I've got grief prevention on this little area here and then also on the slime chunk down there. So I can make some, you know, some farms, some slime and skeleton farms in peace without having to worry about any other players kind of griefing me or anything. Not that I have to worry about that too much. This server is pretty awesome. The community, there's a couple little troublemakers, but the community for the most part has been pretty rad and uh, I've even been given some diamonds from a couple of different players. Leatherneck, shouts out to you, buddy. Uh, yeah, so, oh, see, and there is a zombie, and I don't know where he is, but I need to get rid of that. And so I figured today, so now that you have, you know, seen my slime chunk and um, my skeleton spawner as well, I thought that it would be fun if I just kind of go around, maybe find a couple of new caves and clear them out with you guys uh, and, you know, get that slime chunk ready for turning into a farm. I'm not entirely sure what the build is that I'm going to be doing, like what 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 structure I'm going to use in that farm, right? Because there's all types of different farms that you can actually build and I don't know which one I'm going to go with, but there's uh, there's a there's a good chance that I'll just, you know, find one. Maybe Mumbo Jumbo or somebody has made an automated redstone farm or something. I don't know. But I'm going to find one, uh, like a YouTube video. Where'd that zombie go? I swear I just heard it. Yeah, there he is again. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to turn on subtitles. And there we go. Okay, so he's over here. And it's a zombie villager. And yeah, so I'm just going to kind of go around and clear out some stuff and, you know, check back in with you guys soon. All right. I have been wandering around mining, just trying to find this stupid zombie villager. And I feel like I'm getting closer, but I <laughs> still haven't found him. I've gone so far uh, just mining and yeah, he's got to be around here somewhere, right? Like I keep, I keep hearing him from one side to the other. So I thought maybe he was above me. Now he's sounding further away. I don't know where this thing is. Where is it? Let's see. Let's just wait a second. Okay. Yeah. And now it's, it, he sounds further away again. So I don't know what's going on. Hey, pro tip, by the way, um, if you place your torches on just one wall and don't, you know, change it then you will never get lost. And so always do that. I see people dropping their torches on the ground. That is a bad idea, my friends. Oh, oh, here we go. Here we go. Okay. So I see people dropping their torches on the ground and stuff, but then you get lost. You don't have any clue which direction you're going. If you just put it on the right wall or the left wall, then like when you turn around, you know which way to go to get back out. See, like here, if I had just put it on the floor, I would have no clue which direction to go. But I know that this is the direction that's out because it's on the left wall because I only place my torches on the right wall. Okay, so I found this cave. Let's get him. Let's get him. I got my sword. 
Yeah, they're okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm. Oh shoot! They are. They are ready to go. Oh, I I killed them really fast actually. <laughs> Got him. They don't stand a chance, suckers. Yeah, see, so I just drop them on the right side. Ooh, some iron. Let me go ahead and grab that real quick. Because I will probably never come back down in here. But yeah, so like, if you if you place uh, your torches on the same side, then you'll never get lost. And uh, so, you know, note to all you other Solidarity Gaming sponsors... You guys, I see your torches all the time just kind of roam, like, on the ground. And then nobody knows... Ooh. Let's get it. Oh. Uh, yeah, there we go. Oh, no. It's water. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. We're good. We're safe. Uh, that had me worried for a second. At least it wasn't lava, right? Yeah. All right. So this cave is cleared out. And that's really all that I needed to do is just find these caves and clear them out. And... Here, I'm gonna go ahead and drop that there and let's get back down see I know where I'm going I know where I'm going because the torches are on the left side it's pro tip for you from all the minecraft oh <sighs> another one <sighs> I can't find the zombie villager where is this thing is it up further is it down I don't know where it is Got him. All right. Stupid zombie. Got him. Now, where's the zombie villager? It kept saying zombie villager groans. And there's no zombie villagers around here. So the game lied to me. Stupid subtitles. Lying all the time. That's all right. I got some iron. Getting some iron. Getting some zombies. Let's clear this cave out and that'll be good. Yeah, so you get like you've got to clear out all these caves. It's kind of a ooh, lapis. I could get some lapis. But see, this is where I die. This is this is where it's gonna happen. Because oh. Okay. Okay. Ah! Alright, come on! Ah! Stupid. Got him. Okay. This is, this is, these are the bad areas right here, right? These like little crossroads or whatever. This, this part is a pain. So I want to remember, I got to get back up there. So I got to like clear, clear some kind of a pathway or something. I guess I could do like that or something. <sighs> yeah. Okay. That'll work right there. Okay, all right. Let's let's go ahead and get this because I've got my home set at the slime chunk. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna clear out this tunnel here, this cave. Why do I call it a tunnel? Nobody ever calls these tunnels. Uh, I'm gonna clear out this cave, and then I'm going to just do like slash home and head back to. Ah, uh, see, see, look at this, guys. What are you doing? Get. Ugh. Actually, yeah, what are they doing? I See, I have no clue where to go. Nobody knows anything about where they're going because you put the stupid torch on the ground. Pro tips, guys. Come on, learn from the pros. Uh oh oh, oh, creeper. Creeper. He's dying. I hear him dying. Where is he dying at? Oh, what up, creeper? What up, creep? There we go. Okay. Let's get back in here, clear this out. And I, I really want this iron too. Oh, there's so much iron. It's always good to have iron. I don't have an iron farm. There is an iron farm somewhere on this server. So, you know, maybe I could make use of that in the future, but I don't, I don't have an iron farm that I have access to right now. It's just somebody else somewhere on the server has that. Let's light it up. Oh, this is gonna take forever. Use the diorite because it's ugly. Mmm. 
Ooh, another cave. Ooh. What's down here? Oh, what up, little spider friend? Oh! Oh! Yeah, that's right. I guess I should probably eat too. I did not bring nearly enough food for this kind of an expedition. Ah! I don't think I brought enough torches either. Uh, let's see, do I have any wood? I have no wood. I have 14 torches left. Uh, I didn't bring enough. I didn't bring enough. Yeah, so I didn't really have much of a plan for this episode. I just wanted to show you guys the slime farm or the slime chunk and the skelly spawner uh, and this creep that's gonna die. Oh no, there's lag. <laughs> oh, stupid creeper. Anyway, I didn't have any plans for this. Oh, what's going on? I didn't have any plans for this. Uh, I just wanted to show you guys that stuff. Oh, I'm gonna use my bow. Get him. Oh, come on, stupid bat. This is why people hate bats. <laughs> yeah, this is why I want that skeleton spawner. Because I would love to just, like, wreck them all with my little, my little bow and arrows. And that's it. That's all I have. That's all the torches I got. So I guess I'm just going to clear out this iron here and then... I don't know, call it a day. Um, since I didn't really have any plans for this episode, I just wanted to get back into the habit of recording. I am going to be recording every single day now. So, I mean, like, not every single day, but I, just I, I'll, I'll record through the week. I'm going to release a video every single day. How about that? Um, and, yeah, I don't have any torches to go that way. So I'm just going to pop back down here and grab this iron. Uh, so yeah, you guys can expect to see some more videos from me. I'll probably record one video on Solidarity server every week. Uh, so, you know, maybe like I'll make it a regular thing on Tuesday. And yeah, if you guys enjoy these, like let me know for sure. And I'll keep making them. And if you have a server that you think I should check out, I would love to. This is kind of the whole point of the channel is to check out servers and see what they are doing and see if we can, you know, have some fun on the servers, building some cool stuff. Maybe I'll build like a coffee shop. I, I think that that would be really cool, actually, is to to like make it a goal on every single server to build a coffee shop on the servers because, you know, coffee's my thing. I, I just heard some splashing around. I'm going to go kill something. Oh, I think it's a creep. Yeah, so let's kill him, and then I'm going to call it a day. Oh, my goodness! <laughs> I laugh at day. Oh, my. <sighs> Stupid. There was another one right behind me. Of course there was, because I didn't light this area up enough. Uh, What am I doing? <laughs> doing i wanted the torch wow i already have more than a stack of iron gosh this okay this is getting crazy this is i i'm just gonna here we go slash home there we go let's just drop this iron in there and yeah uh i'm done guys hey this was fun Thanks for watching. I'm gonna have another video here on Solidarity Server. Maybe have a little bit more progress next time. I didn't really do too much on this episode, right? I just wanted to show you guys this slime chunk. But uh, next time we're actually gonna start working on the farm. We're also going to get a few more materials for actually building the structure at the house. And then maybe I can find a spot that I can claim for building a coffee shop, you know, with some potions and stuff. I don't know. You guys let me know in the comments where you think, if you're a member of the Solidarity server, where you think I should build the coffee shop, and I will do it there. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Peace. <laughs>